Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2023 Volkswagen ID4 Pro rear wheel drive. This particular one is glacier white on the exterior with nutmeg cloth interior. It features keyless entry on two doors, LED headlights, LED running lights, LED turn signals and reverse lights. These are LED chamber lights on this one rather than the uh, uh, typical ones that you see on the higher trims. A Volkswagen logo at the front there as well. Twenty-inch machine, uh, silver wheel, silver and black wheels. There, it says Pro on the side. There's a look at the LED tail lights on the back. It says ID4 at the base back there. This one just came off the truck, so I wanted to make a video of it before it was gone because it's already on our website and we've had people looking for it when it wasn't ready to drive yet. So uh, it's going to go fairly fast. Black roof rails on the top there. Let's take a look at the inside. Before we climb in here, here's that cloth inset right here. It's kind of a heather gray color here with leatherette around the outside of it here. Uh, and then the plastic up here with the leatherette pattern up above. Flat silver finish on the door handles here. Also continues right here on the door panel uh, rather than the gloss black, but you do get gloss black or piano black down here on the door handle itself. Uh, the, the armrest, I should say, or the grab part here, whatever you want to call that there where the buttons are. Um, and then you have a storage pocket down here for bottles or cups. Here's a look at the seats right here. It's trimmed out in this brown leatherette on the edge with the heather gray cloth in the middle that goes up the back here. It's still etched. It says ID right here at the top of the seat. Um, the adjustable headrest here is manually adjusted. It's a black button on the side here, a single contrast stitch here. Here's the lever to raise and lower your seat here. And then this guy adjusts your seat back pitch right there. And to move the seat forward and back, you use this loop right here. As we climb in here, I'm going to turn down the fan speed here. Here's a look at that instrument cluster. It's fixed to the steering wheel here, so it moves with the steering wheel. Pull out, push in, raise it, lower it, lock it where you want, and then just uh, have it set there. Um, this is designed so you don't have a bad angle uh, with the steering wheel in relationship to the steering wheel with the, the instrument cluster there. You still get capacitive touch on the steering wheel here. Your modes are right here. So you can actually change uh, between adaptive cruise control and lane, or sorry, adaptive cruise control and regular cruise control right up there by hitting the mode button there. You do also get dynamic road sign display on this one. Um, and then also, uh, of course, adaptive cruise control where your following distance. I can push the button right here to change that. See the green lines there. Um, now you do also get travel assist on this one. Uh, travel assist uh, gives you emer access to emergency assist as well. Um, so you'll have those different features there. And then a the view right here, I can swipe to change my view right here, left and right. Uh, the fuel range here or charge range is uh, 276 miles currently at 98%. Uh, now this car will have a range of around 250. Uh, that 276 is kind of an anomaly as this car has not been driven since it got PDI'd. So uh, it's it's rating it a little high. Um, automatic headlights right here. You also get um, the max defrost button and the rear defrost button right there. You have a vent on this side over here. Two vents below the infotainment screen right here and this large screen right here. I'm gonna hit remind me later and okay. So here's our home screen here, or I can hit the square to go to home. You have uh, two screens here and it's not doing gesture control, but you do have um, another page of stuff here. It shows you right here. And then it, the dots tell you that you have more pages here in the center too. I can hit the eight cubes there to go home. Uh, that telephone there, I can program up to four phones with the car. Navigation, the maps are on board here. I just hit map. And it shows up here this is a status bar to basically show me how close i am to my destination or how far along i am in my trip there uh, now hitting that button again i can go back home here for the vehicle uh the settings here um i can do data status uh it shows interior here exterior lights uh ambient lighting or interior lighting here in this car i can do dark i can also do bright for the screen here um, and then 
uh, the cockpit ID light. Um, I can adjust the brightness of the ID light. There it is up there if you see that swiping across up there. Uh, basic functions for navigation, turn direction, lane. That's all for the ID light. Uh, pretty cool. Infotainment system there. Now, I don't think you get ambient lighting with this one. Uh, actually, I'm, in, I'm wrong. You do get ambient lighting. So you've got these uh, 15 color ambient light display here so you can change what's displayed here um, on board here. I kind of am partial to purple. I'm changing it to purple. But you've got different stuff there. Uh, and then you also get um, App Connect which allows you to do Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or MirrorLink. You can do those wirelessly or with the USB there. Um, and then you do also get wireless charging right here you just put your phone in this clip here with the back facing this here um, and it charges your phone down here are your cup holder stadium seat style cup holders here one's higher than the other one so that's a great design there so you don't have cups battling for supremacy uh, your um, key fob right here panic alarm on the side lock button right here unlock right here and then also um, the trunk release right there now you do not get a power lift gate on this one so that's just trunk release um, there's the uh, key icon right there that is where you would put your key in the event that your key fob battery dies and you're not able to start the car with that dead battery um, back to this screen here um, you can set up users you can set up charging here it shows that you're at 98% you can actually bring this down to 80% which is recommended there we go I'm gonna bring that down to 80 so there you go there actually you know what I'm gonna leave it there because we'll leave that to the customer to uh, decide that uh, now navigation is also going to incorporate charging into it uh, the vehicle settings here I went over those already um, headlights here uh, you have them automatically turn on during rain also turn on late uh, at kind of dusk um, the mirrors synchronized mirror adjustment you can turn that on as well um, you got all kinds of goodies here the main things that you're going to care about um, radio AM FM and climate control so um, I can hit clima that brings me up to the classic climate control here I have max AC recirculated air bottom vent top vent all those goodies there my heated seat is also right here so I can touch right here uh, it starts on high then medium then low and keep in mind all of these things even though they seem kind of cool they're also going to affect your charge on the car since everything's electric on the car um, so there's your heated seats um, I can go smart climate pardon the yawn sorry guys hello Volkswagen hello ID my feet are hot okay so the difference here between this and the new Atlas GTI Golf R um, you have to say hello and then the initials I'm not gonna say it again because it'll trigger it um, in the other cars you can say hello and the name of the brand and it will trigger it as well again I'm not saying it because it will trigger it uh, it may trigger it in here even though I didn't do it the first time um, but you do have that capability as well uh, putting it in reverse gets this backup camera here with trajectory steering this animation also shows your wheel swing over here I can turn the wheel left I can turn the wheel right and it shows trajectory here and also here the red line signifies where the bumper is green line signifies where you're straight back and uh, yellow is where you're headed um, so you do have that we'll put it in park okay and it turns off when you do that so I push the brake and it's back on uh, your shifter up here is a little different you twist towards the windshield for drive Okay, hold on oh it doesn't light up but it's in drive okay there's the trick there uh, it's over here D for drive twist again you're in B mode I can't believe I was looking for it to light up over here it doesn't do that on any car so I'm sorry guys I was being a little little stupid there there's neutral and then there's reverse reverse of course brings up the camera here so if I put it in neutral or drive and sit right here it does have auto hold so I'm in drive with my foot off the brake and it's it's holding 98% charge there 276 miles 
armrest right here for storage it's pretty deep storage right here you have some gloss black or piano black up here uh, over here on the passenger seat there is this lever to pull the seat forward and back over on the side over here a pumping action to raise the seat or lower the seat and then back here a seat back adjust in the glove box right here there's manuals here tire warranty right there as well and you can actually see a hint of the ambient lighting right here the purple that goes across right here you can kind of see it right now um, I'll go ahead and push the brake again because the car wants to turn off the blind spot indicators are right there up above here there's a home link mirror here three-door garage door memory with a Bluetooth button there digital compass there vanity mirror on each side with an LED light right here you also get a black headliner in this one as you look at the vanity mirror there everything's gonna be capacitive touch your dome lights up here you just tap once to turn on tap once again to turn them off um, your dome light settings here and then your information button roadside assistance are all right there the seats are nice and comfortable here um, a little bit on the wider side too there for a larger a larger person they're still going to be comfortable in this I want to climb out here when I climb out on what you're going to see me reach back in and push the start button that keeps the car going because it has this intuitive sit to start uh, so it turns off when you get out but by me pushing the button when I'm reaching in if I were to sit in that seat and get up again it would of course shut off again so I'm reaching in while standing outside and hitting the start button so it stays on this car comes in at 46101. Extras on this one include 405 for the auto dimming home link mirror, 296 for the all weather mats, 110 for the luggage net for the cargo area, and 1295 for destination, bringing you to 46101. As we look in the back here, more piano black back here on the, the handle here for the door, and then the heather gray back here on the inset, and the flat silver finish up here. The seats here trimmed out in the brown leatherette on the edges, heather gray in the middle there. Uh, they're calling this nutmeg. I'm calling it heather gray because it reminds me of a heather gray t-shirt. Um, there is the leather, the leatherette in the middle there. There is no fold down armrest in the middle here, but you have an adjustable headrest on all three seats that's trimmed out in that leatherette, that brown nutmeg color there. As we go ahead and climb in the back here, there's a pocket right here also a pocket right here vents back here that you can open and close a little storage cubby right here and two USB C's back here there's also a phone pocket up here where you can stick your phone in while you're charging from there up front here's a look through through to the front the cars beeping at me because I got it on and a door open capacitive touch for the dome lights right here as well the seats back here car seat hookups are here and also here Let's take a look at the rear hatch. There's a look at the wheel for the back here. As we come around to the back, the switch is down low, right above the license plate bracket. You lift up and on that there, hydraulically assisted there. This one has a privacy cover as you look through right there. Now these normally would be hooked up here. I'm gonna go ahead and hook that up there so you can see that on there. Hook that up on each side here. Uh, this car will come with, um, no spare on it, so you won't have a spare tire. There's your rubber mats there, cargo blocks right here, luggage net here, front license plate on here as well. Cargo protection system on this particular one. If you lift up here, there's a storage tray here where you can put those items as well. And then there's a lift up floor right here. Uh, there's a can of fix a flat in that bag down there and a little more storage down there. So you have two compartments here. And then you do get a 12 volt charger port right there. A recessed trunk light over here on this side that's LED and another one on this side here's the handle to close the hatch it says ID4 right there this car will come with a four-year 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen that includes uh, two years of maintenance included on the car uh, we will give you actually a third fourth fifth and sixth uh, year of free maintenance on this car now free maintenance on this car is essentially going to be fluid top-offs and uh, tire rotations and a multi-point inspection since it doesn't need an oil change. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, we're gonna give you a 10 year, 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty on a gas powered car. I'm only mentioning it because I mentioned it in every one of my videos. This car won't qualify for that because it doesn't have an engine, uh, it just has an electric motor, uh, but we offer that on any new gas or internal combustion engine Volkswagen. 
So if you're interested in this car or interested in another one, please give me a call, 636-290-4257, 636-290-4257. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Resales Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day.